Well, Sylvia, even in San Diego earlier today, we got hail and as you mentioned, Newport Beach and we're still tracking a very severe cell moving over Orange County. So let's zoom in on that right now. We're looking at lightning, thunder, hail through Laguna Hills into Laguna Niguel. A closer look at where we're seeing the cell El Toro Road into Pacific Park Drive rather all along Highway 73, the toll road there and La Paz Road in Mission Viejo. You're starting to feel the heat there. Just a few cells, actually a few uh, raindrops, maybe even a few a little hails, uh, hailstones coming down for you into Alicia Parkway, Laguna Niguel, dealing with some heavier rain all the way down the five as you make your commute through Orange County night, even into San Juan Capistrano, at least pretty soon here. We are expecting to see the cell move into the forecast. So a couple little cells for you again, uh, providing us with lightning, thunder and hail. So more on this and of course more on your extended forecast coming up in just a little bit. Back to you. All right, Ev, we'll check with you in a moment. KCAL 9 Stacy Butler is in Newport Beach. Exactly. It's crazy. It's really crazy. Take a look at this time lapse video from earlier. That's pretty crazy as well. Gorgeous shot. You'll see a little bit of Virga rain not making its way to the ground. A little bit of rain, a little bit of sun coming through the clouds and that mix of clouds and the sun that we saw earlier that made for those pop up thunderstorms. In fact, still looking at a pop up thunderstorm right here through Orange County. We've been eyeing the cell. It's been traveling from Huntington all the way down into Laguna Hills into Mission Viejo, making its way eventually into San Diego. At this point, it looks like we're looking at another little cell coming on shore. So we're going to be tracking these cells for you. Let's track this cell that we've been dealing with over the last uh, hour or so. Take a look. Laguna Hills starting to get hit right there as we take a look at Mission Viejo, starting to get a little bit of heavier rain, even potential hail, grapple, lightning and thunder over La Paz, Oso Parkway, all the way down the five as you make your commute there. Lake Forest still getting hit. Muirlands Boulevard right there in Laguna Hills starting to get some heavier rain as well, but starting to calm down just just a bit into Alicia Parkway getting some steady showers. But again, the main brunt of this particular cell still sitting over Highway 241, Antonio Parkway, Oso Parkway and Marguerite Parkway as well. So very heavy rain again, potential hail in the area, lightning and thunder, even a little bit of snow out there. Big Bear still getting a few flurries along Highway 18. We're seeing a little bit of snow along the 15 right there, not getting as much as what, what we saw earlier. But again, we could potentially see a few more flurries right there. Highway 18 looking at the same thing. Riverside starting to actually dry out from earlier and Fraser Park finally drying out as well. We saw plenty of snow over the area and just a few moments ago we did see a cell sitting over Fraser Park. We did get a little bit of snow over the five, so now it's just a little icy, little slippery out there. So certainly watch out if you plan on commuting through the grapevine. Temperature wise, we're into the 40s this evening. Certainly very cool. 48 degrees in downtown, 50 in Inglewood, 48 in Commerce, Alhambra at 42. And take a look right here, Orange at 48 in Irvine. You're currently at 50 degrees. And take a look at this little cell. It's starting to make its way onto the coast, onto PCH, closer to Huntington. You could get hit again. It's going to make its way down the coast. So we're at it again, a few little pop up thunderstorms, and that's going to be the drill into the overnight hours into first thing tomorrow morning, and then we should be done with it. But take a look right here. Future cast showing you just a little bit of rain to our south, maybe a few thunderstorm cells as well. First thing in the morning, same thing goes, and then by eight o'clock, we're looking fairly dry. We're leaving a chance of maybe a shower in the forecast, but for the most part, keeping it dry, keeping it partly cloudy as we head into tomorrow afternoon. Your five day forecast for the basin in Orange County. Remember Orange County getting hit pretty hard in some spots with that rain with those thunderstorms, but by tomorrow you're nice and dry. Plenty of sunshine by Sunday. By the time we hit Monday, you're warming up. You're well into the 70s. And then take a look Tuesday, a little cooler and Wednesday, keeping temperatures pretty mild, flirting with the 70s, about 69 degrees. And then look at one more five day forecast for you. You'll see right here the beaches look a bit like this. You're drying out plenty of sunshine by Sunday, plenty of sunshine by Monday, and then partly cloudy with mild temperatures as we head into Tuesday and as we head into Wednesday. Sylvia Sharon, back to you. Mm. You know, yeah. after yeah. the show, maybe yeah. there's an inno pretty love close it. to here. <laughs> <Still loving. laughs> I know. So yeah, we'll drive through this to get there. I know I will. I that. love what is that? In and out. Uh, this is actually from earlier today. This is the Blue Ridge camera wow. and this is just snow sitting on the lens. This is a gorgeous yeah. shot. Yeah, so we did see really snow. Cool. Yeah, so this was a shot from earlier today. So thank you for capturing that. But uh, pretty amazing because we saw, you know, sites like that, but other people, you know, 
us here at the broadcast center, we didn't get anything. So I was trying to reassure everybody that we really were getting weather. So it was very hit or miss. It's still hit or miss out there. And we're actually still dealing with a few thunderstorm cells, a little bit of snow and a little bit of rain snow mix as well. Take a look at this red bullseye on radar indicating severe weather. We could be seeing, well, not only lightning and thunder, but certainly hail and downpours at the moment. So we are eyeing the cell again just east of Laguna Hills, actually getting a little bit of rain snow mix and thunderstorms. We could even call it thunder snow just east of there. So take a look at this red bullseye again. This is a very severe cell sitting over Highway 241. Just starting to move into Oso Parkway. La Paz already getting hit and we're going to continue to see the cell move to the east, possibly to the southeast. So eventually making its way down to San Diego County. So again, we are eyeing that cell. We're eyeing this cell right here. Alder Place Canyon Lane getting hit. Highway 74 still getting hit as well. And we're actually eyeing one more cell that's starting to move in to the Huntington Beach coastline at the moment. On top of that, a few raindrops over San Bernardino and Riverside, but more importantly, a little bit of snow still lingering over Big Bear. So that commute on the way to Big Bear a little tough. But again, it's just very minor at this point. Things are starting to simmer down, but again, we could continue to see things pop here and there. So again, a severe thunderstorm cell or even just a little bit of rain, a little bit of snow and certainly very cold temperatures. We're into the 40s and the 50s tonight and we're going to stay cool into the overnight hours. By the time we hit tomorrow, though, take a look. We are still expecting scattered showers into the overnight hours. We're drying out, though, especially as we hit the afternoon. Nice and dry, partly cloudy by Sunday. Plenty of sunshine keeping things that way by Monday. Partly cloudy by Tuesday with mild temperatures by the time we hit Wednesday. So this is your forecast for the coast getting the next forecast for the base in Orange County, keeping things mostly dry tomorrow, even sunnier by Sunday and warming up by Monday. Back to you. Nice. Very good. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Ed. Okay.